Hi everybody, it's Crystal. I'm going to go over with you how to make this um, little baby dress. It's going to fit size probably about 12 to 18 months and of course you can make it as long as you want to. Um, it's real easy. It's just made pretty much all with a V-stitch and some shit, a little bit of easy shells at the end. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. There's no buttons or anything. It just slides over the top of of the head so it's real easy to make real cute spring dress um, so let's go ahead and get started for this project I am using peaches and cream 100% cotton yarn and it's a four ply you do not have to use cotton acrylic will work also or whatever kind of four ply yarn that you have um, the color I'm using is uh, sandstone stripes and then I'm going to be using regular white for the top of the dress but any color you want works too and then I'm going to be using a size H it's a five millimeter crochet hook okay I'm going to be starting off with the chain of 48 and without twisting your chain I'm going to you want to slip stitch into the very first stitch to form one large ring. Like that. Now I'm going to start off by slip stitching over into the next stitch. So the slip stitch over into it like that and now I'm going to be working these stitches now I'm going to start with a chain of four and now that chain four acts as a double crochet and a chain one so now I'm going to yarn over and go back into the same stitch and do a double crochet So there we have a V stitch, a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. Now I'm going to skip one stitch, and in the next stitch, I'm going to do another V stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and go through and double crochet, chain one, go back in the same stitch, double crochet. So that's another V stitch. Skip a stitch, a V stitch in the next, double crochet, chain one, go back in and double crochet again. So that's another V stitch. Skip your next stitch and then a V stitch in the next double chain one and double again skip a stitch a V stitch into the next double chain one and double and you just want to repeat this process all the way back around V stitch, skip a stitch, V stitch, skip a stitch until you get back to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around, um, you should have that one stitch. Remember, we slip, we had, we started here, then we slip stitched over to here. So that'll be the stitch that you skip. So now we want to slip stitch into the third chain of that. Uh, first chain four like that now we're just going to do the same thing again but we're going to be working our v-stitches in the chain one spaces of the previous v-stitches so what you want to do when you start slip stitch over into that chain one space like that and we start with a chain four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one and then we're going to yarn over, go back into that same space, and double crochet. 
done. Now we're going to jump over to the next V-stitch right here and we're going to put a V-stitch in the middle of it. So go right through, double crochet, chain one, go back through and double crochet again. Okay, then we're going to jump to the next V-stitch and put another V-stitch by double crocheting. Chain one, and double crochet again. Jump to the next V stitch, do the same. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So this is the pattern all the way around. We're just putting a V stitch inside the previous V stitch. And we want to do that until we get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around after that second row B stitches. And again, you want to slip stitch in the third chain of your chain four. Now I'm going to repeat this row again. So I'm going to start off by slip stitching over here into this first V stitch, the middle of it. Chain in four, which counts as a double crochet in a chain one, go back into the same spot and double crochet. So that's my first V stitch. Now I'm going to jump over to the next V stitch and in the middle of it a V stitch again. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, jump to the next V stitch again, V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, and that's the V-stitch. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing again all the way around. Okay, after I got done with that last row, I went ahead and did one more row of V-stitches for a total of four all together. And you're going to notice that it doesn't lay like a traditional yoke would. It's because it sets on the shoulders a little bit differently than what a normal one would. But what you want to do is kind of just fold it in half and then it lays flat. And I'll show you how to mark off the sleeves. So flip it over to the back where you just ended. Keep your yarn on there because we're going to start back up with it. You're going to need four stitch markers. And here's where we'll mark the, the armholes off at. Okay. We just slip stitched into this one. So you want to count over from this one, one, two, three, four, and put a stitch marker. And then here's where we slip stitch into. So we'll start at this one and count over four. One, two, three, four. We're counting over the V stitches and put a stitch marker. So four V stitches. Here's where we end. Here's where we ended one two three four stitch marker and now we're going to count again here's where we put the stitch marker jump to the next V stitch and count one two three four five V stitches and put a, a stitch marker and then we'll do the same from this one start into the next one one two, three, four, five V-stitches and put a stitch marker. Okay, now we're just going to start where we left off and we're going to slip stitch into that first V-stitch like normal. Do our chain four and then go back into that same V-stitch and double crochet like that. Now we're going to do a double crochet, or a V, I'm sorry, we're going to do a V stitch in each one of these V stitches until we get up to our first stitch marker. And when you get to your first stitch marker, you can go ahead and V stitch into that v-stitch that has the stitch marker into it. And 
and then you want to you can remove that if you want because you don't need it anymore now I'm going to kind of loosely chain seven and then I'm going to skip all these V stitches and I'm going to come over to my next stitch marker and V stitch into the stitch that has the stitch marker. So I got my chain on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go in and double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again. So that was my V stitch. Just like that, and you can move that out. Now I'm going to V stitch in all these V stitches until I get to my next stitch marker. And that's where I'll do the same thing again. Okay, I made it to my next stitch marker again, and I'm just going to do the same thing. V stitch into that stitch that has the stitch marker. You can take it out and move it. Loosely chain seven. Not too loose, but. And then skip all these stitches until I get to my next stitch marker. And I'm going to V stitch in it with my chain. I got my chain on my hook. So I'm just going to yarn over, go right in there, and do a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. There we go. Now I'm just going to finish out this round by V stitching in the rest of these V stitches. And I'm going to change colors after this, after this round. Just like this and then you want to end again by slip stitching into the third chain of this chain four and I'm going to tie off this color to start a new one right here okay okay I'm gonna start again now with my new color I know it looks like the same color but it's just the variegated part of that color is white so okay now what we're gonna do this round is I'm still going to be doing V-stitches, but for the first row, I'm going to do um, V-stitch uh, increases, or double V-stitches, I don't know. Increases, I think, is what they're called. That way, the dress kind of gathers up as it goes down. So, what I'm going to do is just start right here in this first V-stitch. And I'm going to start off with a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet, chain one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet. So what we just did was a V stitch. But what I want to do again now is chain one again and go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet. So it's kind of like having two V stitches in the same V stitch. So I'll show you again. Jump over to the next V stitch right here and go in a double crochet, chain one, go back into the same spot, double crochet, chain one, go back into the same spot, and double crochet again. So you got two V stitches in the same spot. So I'm going to do that in every V stitch around. I'm going to jump to the next one and double crochet, chain one, go back in, double crochet, chain one, go back and double crochet one more time, just like that. Okay, again, go to this next V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet and now we're at the sleeve holes so sleeve holes what we're gonna do is I'm gonna skip the first stitch of my chain so skip and in the next one I'm gonna do this double V stitch so I'm gonna go into it 
double crochet, chain one. Go back in, double crochet, chain one. Go back in, double crochet. Just like that. Now I'm going to skip the next stitch of the chain and I'm going to do the double v-stitch or the v-stitch increase whatever it is in the next one so skip that stitch and then this one we're gonna work a double crochet chain one go back in double crochet chain one go back in double crochet just like that skip the next stitch skip so this one right here do it again go back in double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet just like that and then you should have one more stitch left to skip and then we'll start back working in this v-stitch doing the same thing Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, just like that. And we're going to do this in every single V-stitch all the way around. And when we get to this chain, we'll do the same thing. Skip one and do, and then do the double V-stitch, skip one. And you want to do that all the way in every V-stitch back to the beginning. Okay, I made it around after doing that row of V-stitch v increases or double V-stitches or whatever they are. But now what we're going to do is every row is going to be the same for the length of the dress. Of course, so we get to the bottom, I'll probably do something different. But what we want to do is substitute into the third stitch of this chain four. And we're going to be working in each one of these be stitch spaces. So slip stitch over into the first one. Chain four. Go back into the same spot and double crochet. So that's our first V stitch. Now we need to put one V stitch in every one of these V stitch spaces. So I'll go right here to the next one and put one V stitch. And right come over here and I'm gonna to have to put a v-stitch here and one here one v-stitch come to the next space v-stitch find the next v-stitch is right here I have to put one here and here you can see the v-stitch spaces So it's just one V-stitch now on top of every V-stitch from the previous row. Right here, V-stitch, come to the next one, V-stitch. V stitch. We just want to do this all the way around. V stitch here, V stitch here, V stitch here, V stitch here. You can see because each one of the stitches before had two V stitches in them. So we have to put one V stitch in each one of them. Jump to the next one. So go ahead and work around putting one V-stitch on top of every V-stitch from the previous row. Until so you get back around to the beginning.
Okay, I made it around, I made it around again, and again, I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain, my chain four. Slip stitch over into the middle of this V-stitch. Chain four again. Go back into the same spot, double crochet, and that's my first V-stitch. And again, it's just one V-stitch on top of every other V-stitch all the way around. So it's just a row, it's just, just the same. V-stitch on top of V-stitch. There's no more increasing or anything. Just one V-stitch on top of every V-stitch all the way around. Now I'm going to do this for several rows. And I don't know how many rows I'm going to do, so I'm going to get working on it. And I'll let you know here in a few minutes how many total rows of these V-stitches that I do. Okay, I, I went ahead and did 10 total rows of just uh, one v, the V-stitch, one V-stitch and every V-stitch all the way around. And you can always do it longer if you want. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a row of shells. So I'm going to slip stitch over into this V-stitch, just like normal. And now I'm going to chain three. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So I want to do a total of seven double crochets into this V stitch. So this is my first one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's seven. Oh seven double crochets. Now I'm going to go to the next V-stitch, single crochet. Like that. Now I'm going to go to the next V-stitch again and do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles, and then I'm going to go to the next V-stitch and single crochet. So I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around the bottom here. The next one, we'll get seven doubles, the next one, a single crochet. Seven doubles in the next, single crochet in the next, all the way around. Okay, once you make it all the way around, you just want to slip stitch into the top of your beginning chain three and then tie that off. And then I'm going to stop here and I'm going to go ahead and hide all my tails real quick. Okay, for the sleeves, they're both going to be the same. I just simply want to round them with some single crochet, but I did do a few decreases, so I'll show you. Show you where here. I'm going to start right here and I'll start. You can see here's the inside. So I'm just going to start by going into the stitch here and chain in one. Now I'm going to do decreases all across this thumb, armpit area kind of, single crochet decreases. So I'm going to go back into the same stitch I just started and I'm going to draw up a loop. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops. And now I'm going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. And then the next stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over it, go through all three loops. I'm going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and the next one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops. Go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. Okay. Then when I get to right here, I'm going to put two single crochets up the side of this double. So, 
One. Two. Now I'm just going to go around. I'm not going to do no more decreases. That's the only part that I decrease in. Putting. Now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch for all around the sleeve. No more decreases. So one in every stitch. And when I get to the center, the chain one space of the V stitch, I'm just going to go straight through it. Put a single crochet. And then single crochet in the next stitch. The next stitch. And then right through the center of the V. I'm just going to go in the next stitch, single, next stitch, right through the center of the V, and I'm going to do this all the way around until I get to my starting point. Okay, I'm right here on the side of this V stitch so I wanted to put two single crochets down the side of this double just like we did on the other side and then what I'm gonna do is slip stitch into my first single crochet tie that off and I'm gonna do both sleeves the exact same so remember we only decreased did single crochet decreases in this little armpit area. After that, it was just all single crochets all the way around. Okay, after you get both sleeves done, one more thing I'm going to do is go across the whole top, this collar area, with a row of single crochet. So I'm just going to start in the back here. Pick any stitch to start in. Pull my yarn through. Chain one. Go back into the exact same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just going to work across. Putting one single crochet in every stitch along the top, along the neckline. Or the collar area, whatever you want to call it. This is just going to clean the top up a little bit. So one single in every stitch all along the top to get back to the beginning. When you make it back around, and again we're just going to end it by slip stitching into the first single crochet, tying that off, hiding the tail. Okay, once I got all my tails hidden, um, one last thing I did was I had these little flowers um, to get them at craft stores. I got mine at Walmart, but <clears throat> there are these little things. I got a whole pack of them, like a whole bunch of them for just a couple dollars. And I just took um, a regular sewing, sewing needle and some white thread and just sewed them on up here at the top real easy. But you don't have to do that. And you can even probably put a dab of hot glue on them too. would probably work because hot glue works really really good it, it holds really good but i just used the needle and put a couple uh with thread a couple of stitches in the back and that's how i got mine on and that's it that's all there is to it and again you don't have to do this but if you make this i'd really like to see a picture of it you could post a picture on the bag of day crochet facebook page and don't forget to check out all my other tutorials and until next time have a good day